All right, all right. It appears that we are live. Welcome, welcome, my friend, to another video. This time around, we're going to be checking out a very cool uh, compressor plugin by IK Multimedia that it's uh, available for free for a limited time, no end date specified. This is the uh, T Rex Vintage Compressor based on a Fairchild 670 legendary compressor i will leave you all of the applicable and downloadable links in the video description as well as uh, some other stuff that i'm presenting you here on this video i am also gonna leave you some timestamps in case that you are watching this live stream after it ended before we begin with the content uh, let me invite you to my website amnerhunter.com where i have some additional freebies such as of, such as some free pdf guides and ebooks for music producers and guitar players about music productivity in your home studio about how to mix mix a song using of only free plugins sorry and also about how to make more music in less time additionally i have some other tools such as some collections of guitar impulses some collections of drum sample packs for rock and metal sound among other utilities and finally don't forget to check out the blog or this channel regularly because I am updating almost every day with tons of free uh, new resources and content and um, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on this free limited time promotions as well let me know if you are here in the chat if you have any questions about this software I'll be happy to respond so let's begin here let's go to my session here let's check out first the features of the vintage compressor by ik multimedia this uh, compressor first of all it's based on a fairchild 670 like i mentioned um, one of the like the holy grail of compression limiting uh, vintage analog gear right the cool thing about this compressors is that, uh, is that mm, they are very musical so no matter how much you drive the threshold and the compression is still very musical and it also adds a subtle coloration to the sound that it's um, not very noticeable like uh, to hear it but uh, it it definitely adds something to the audio uh, and i'm gonna analyze it also on this video so first here at the left we have uh, the um control to set the compressor in, in stereo which is the regular way of uh, compression right if you have by default here on link it's um, in stereo right but you can also compress the left and right channels independently what you have on the left and what you have on the right and you're gonna control it with the left uh, threshold or right threshold right the left uh, release time or right release time and also left input or right input here in the middle or you can set the compressor also to lat and vert which are which is mid and side uh, pretty much so uh, in lat it's the center of your mix so you can compress only uh, the kick drum the snare the vocals right without affecting the guitars that are on the sides for instance or some other stereo like synthesizers uh, vacuum vocals th things like that or you can affect only here on um, on vert uh, you can affect only the side image of your mix without affecting the center or the mid image but i'm gonna use it here on under this uh, category link for a full stereo normal sound uh, down here down this agd control you have the left lat and right bird these controls are the knee of the compressor counterclockwise is a soft knee a mo uh, more subtle compression and to the right it's a harder compression also this harder to the right and um, um, a little bit more aggressive compression right and you have this reset button this uh, time constant is the release time here is uh, faster release time and slower release time all right so 
as you see here since i have the link function engaged both of the controls are moving equally and you have the left uh, and right input gain to feed more signal to the compressor to compress more if you need it but this uh, controls are not linked i don't know why they made that this way but i would like to have these controls also linked to not move one and then move the other one right i would like to have them uh, the same as these ones for instance and you have the threshold right uh, which is uh, if you start to use this uh, knob to the right uh, clockwise you're gonna start to uh, get some compression here on the gain reduction that you can um, you have several or three modes of these meters gain reduction you can measure that you ha you can measure the output or the input but normally you have an in gain reduction to know how much compression is uh, happening and the output control right this is the output just to compensate to level match the input and output you have four ways that you can uh, compare different parameters you change this for different uh, letters that you have and some presets are available here for different instruments and yeah that's pretty much uh, the the settings of this compressor let's analyze the harmonic um, content of this compressor i just reset it and i am gonna generate a sine wave at 500 hertz it's not very loud uh, to take care of your ears <laughs> because it's uh, very um, noisy if you uh, use like one a sine wave at a specific frequency it can get overwhelming quickly after this tone generator I have the compressor and I am using the EM equalizer as you see here this spike that you see here is the 500 hertz um, tone generating and let's turn on the compressor and we see some harmonics right second third order harmonics like uh, one octave above for instance here at 500 you have the 1000 1009 approximately and yeah here you have like uh, 2000 uh, something like that so yeah they, they are they work in octaves right so very musical also this harmonic so let's turn off all of this settings and that's it with the harmonic analysis of this compressor let's use it here on drums first this is the mix so as you turn on the compressor it immediately adds uh, some harmonic content and coloration but it's very subtle you might not notice it but uh, something there apparently based on the analysis so let's start to move well first on drums I recommend you use the uh, a fast uh, release time you have no attack control on this compressor it's pretty much uh, fixed and then let's move the threshold to have some compression Let's use a more hard, harder knee. Right? And if you want more compression, you can use the input. Like, for instance, six decibels more. Okay, pretty cool you see like uh, even though I am exaggerating like the threshold at maximum here the compression it's very uh, musical this compressor uh, was used to glue everything so that 
you don't feel the thing separate in a drums drum boss or something so what i read about this compressor is that it made everything glue um, better than other compressors so that's a cool thing of using mix bus uh, or bus compression and this compressor was meant to uh, be used on buses and also on the mix bus or master but definitely you can use it also on individual channels before after Okay, let's leave it there. Let's use it here on this bass guitar. All right, I'm gonna use also the stereo mode here. Let's use a medium release time. Let's compress heavily the bass. Let's use hard knee for more aggressive compression and let's feed a bit more of that bass to this compressor like 12 decibels of gain reduction you see uh, or hear how uh, some notes are like jumping out more than others and this compressor um, like other compressors as well just uh, get you this uh, glued sound and consistent I like to compress heavily the bass guitar all right let's leave it like that and let's move on with the acoustic guitars also pretty cool compressor for acoustic guitars i'm gonna use a fast release time I think I need more signal than here. Yeah. I need to feed more signal to the compressor. Nice acoustic guitars touch of compression let's use a bit more here two to three decibels of gain reduction all right and let's use it also here on this vocal track why are you going down? Why are you going down? We see the waveform, some parts of the vocal is not consistent with, uh, you know, peaks and valleys, which is normal. But let's make this vocal more um, consistent and reduce the dynamic range. Why are you going down? I'm gonna use a maybe fast release time, not the fastest one. Why are you going down? If you don't ha get compression right away with this, why are you going? We need to feed more signal with the input. Why are you going down? Nice. Why are you going down? Sugar. 
every detail of the of the vocal is heard. Why now. are you going down? Why are you going down, sugar? Even these small details on the this uh, these tails. Why are you going Before. down? All right. Why are you going? I check it out on the full mix. Here on the full mix and the master channel, I'm gonna use a fast the fastest release time, and I just want maybe one decibel of gain reduction. Very subtle. I think even the top end is better. I, I don't know if it's for, because of the harmonics, all of the harmonics combined of all of these compressors uh, on all of these uh, tracks and bosses, but even the the top end sounds uh, a bit uh, more, more pleasant, I think. And let's move on here to check out the install process of this compressor. All right, uh, let me know if you are here in the chat and I will be happy to respond and read your comments in a moment. So you need to complete a survey uh, from IK Multimedia. This is the website. If you don't see the website, you need to change this to English so you can see this um, free promotion on your computer. Uh, with the link that I am leaving you, I'm leaving you. So after you complete the survey, you're gonna. Uh, for, of course, you need to have an account at IK Multimedia, right? Enter in your account, complete the survey, and you're gonna get this on your um, dashboard. Your products, right? It's already added. This uh, serial number and all that. You need to download the IK Product Manager here for Windows and Mac. Install it, execute it, and all that. And then you're gonna enter in your IK product manager with the same credentials. You're gonna go to um, the the products and install the T-Rex collection. This is a bit of a hassle, right? Uh, because you're gonna install a ton of demos of a lot of other plugins of the T-Rex collection that you don't need. Uh, but anyway, this is the process. Uh, it gonna, it's gonna ask you to also install the custom shop and restart the computer and you're gonna be on the way to finish the installation like that and you're gonna be installing all of this uh, for example i installed a bst3 format and it installed all of the demos for all of these t-rex plugins but i went ahead and delete them that's uh one thing that you can do you don't need to have them and you don't need to have all of that uh, extra space for the demos and uh, yeah, after you install all of this, you open up the plugin on your DAW and it's going to ask you to register the product. It's going to uh, send you to the custom shop, which you already have. And uh, you enter with your credentials as well and hit here on restore more my purchases and the T-Rex um, um, plugin, the vintage compressor will be added to your account and now you're gonna be able to open it on your uh, DAW fully with uh, without the demo uh, limitation All right so let's check out some comments here on the chat 
Hi sis, love them art production. Hello, my friend. Once again, thank you very much, Amner. Oh, you're welcome, my friend. My pleasure, Joey. What's up, Amner says Upper Coulomb Audio. I was looking at White Sea Studios today on the Fair Fairchild. Yeah, funny that I <laughs> watched that video also. I follow followed that YouTuber and I saw that um Fairchild comparison, right? The IK multimedia the universal audio and the other one i don't remember the brand um and by uad however he compared to this i think yeah he compared it so yeah there you go my friend uh, i hope that you enjoy this cool compressor very musical and uh, it's a bit of a hassle of course to install them but i think uh, ik multimedia plugins are definitely worth the the hassle all right, and um, before we go, I'd like to invite you quickly one last time to my website, amnerhunter.com, where I have some additional freebies for you, some free PDF guides and ebooks for music producers and guitar players, also some tools such as some collections of guitar impulses, some collections of drum sample packs as well. And finally, don't forget to check out the blog or this channel, which I am updating weekly with tons of free content. Almost daily, I am uh, live streaming here with tons of free stuff so hit the notification bell so you don't miss out so thanks a lot for watching my friend i it was a pleasure and i'll see you very soon in the next video all right take care